Hey everyone, how's it going? Um, there's a little bit different background. Um, it's chaos at my house right now. Um, hubby is about to come home and I know that if I go live right now and I'm talking to you, then in the middle of it he'll walk in and the kids will be like, you know, some superstar just came in the house. Oh my God, he's home. <laughs> so I decided to come in the car because what I'm about to talk to you about is super important. Um, I'm so excited to talk to you about it because I am about to save your business and if you are not a business owner or if you do not do MLM on, online or um, if you are just a customer or whatever, I'm about to save your news book, your Facebook feed, okay? Um, so if you would like to give this, uh, share this video as a little hint to some of your, uh, network marketing friends, I would appreciate that. Um, because I would love to get the word out there about, um, why this is starting to ruin businesses. Okay. So let's talk about the hundred list. Okay. What is the hundred list? Okay. So if you are in any kind of direct sales company, you will probably have an upline and they will say, oh my gosh, you're doing so great in sales. Now you need to grow your team, okay? We all know this. And they'll say, you say, well, how do I do that? And they'll say, just make a list of 100 people. Now, if you've heard this before, and sorry about my Nemo, I cut my finger. Oh, anyway, so glamorous. Um, if you, I so, if you've heard that before, if you've had your upline tell you, just go make a list of 100 people, right? Uh, put a number one in the comments because honestly, there should be a whole bunch of ones because we've heard this before. We've heard this before, okay? And let me tell you something, you guys. This list of 100 people is going to kill your business and I'm gonna share why, okay? So, first of all, I wanna say, hi guys. Um, first of all, I wanna say, I am not dogging your upline. Okay, I love your upline. Okay, they're doing the best that they can. But how many of us know about family cycles? Okay, so let's say that your grandma has a great grandma has a killer um, apple pie recipe. They're gonna pass that down because everybody got such rave reviews, right? They're gonna say, oh, here, have my apple pie recipe. And next thing you know, you're third generation and you have this apple pie recipe. Why do you have the apple pie recipe? Because everybody loves it and it works for everybody. And when they take it to parties, they get rave reviews. This is the same with information being passed down from your upline, okay? Some of the things that they're telling you it doesn't quite work anymore and they haven't quite figured that out yet. So they're telling you with the best of intention. So please do not go back to your upline and say, ah, you know, this doesn't work and this girl said this, okay? I just wanted to put that out there. They're doing the best they can, okay? So love them. <laughs> That's my yellow talkie. My red is, to, is saying, girl, knock it off with the 100 list, okay? So um, here's the thing. The other thing is, your downline. Okay. So now if you're, if you're, if you have people underneath you, I want you to know that if you start slinging this 100 list, list of 100 to your downline, you're going to kill their business and you don't want to do that because that's going to kill your business. Okay. So why is it going to hurt their business? Because they're going to hear no and no and no, 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 no. And they're going to say, nobody's saying yes to me. I'm done. Okay. Cause most people won't stick with it. Most people you know, they get afraid or they get shy and it was a big step for them to reach out in the first place, okay? This, this 100 list that's going around, that has been going around for years, it ruins relationships and here's why. So here, if you don't know what the 100 list is, let me explain it to you. So um, they will say to you, think of your childhood friends and think about the people that you know at the grocery store and think about the people that you know at the school and the PTA and think about people from past jobs on and on and on and on and on you get the hint I'm not even gonna go into it okay so they're gonna tell you think of 100 people and then just start reaching out well I can see the method behind it but the problem with that is it takes relationships out of the game and relationships are a really, really big part of your business because people will join you before they will care anything about the company or anything that you um, are passionate about within the company, okay? I'm gonna look at my notes. Um, there's Okay, so there's three reasons why people will say no. 
okay? They're gonna say no, number one, is because they don't need you. So if somebody has really, 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 really great skin and what they're using right now is working for them, there's no reason why they're going to jump ship and try something else because that could potentially ruin their skin, right? So they may not need you, okay? The other thing is that they may not just, they just may not be interested. It may not be the right timing. So if you happen to have an amazing opportunity, right? Um, and you go and you talk to somebody about it who's making good money and loves their job, they may not be interested. Um, you can kind of think of it as like trying to um, sell vegetables to a carnivore. <laughs> it's not gonna work, they don't want it, okay? They're just not interested and it's not a reflection of you. Um, the other thing is, is sometimes they can't afford it, okay? Because sometimes the startup costs are expensive or sometimes the products or sometimes um, the upkeep or whatever, sometimes they just can't afford it. And, or maybe the affording might have something to do with time, okay? How many times this is how I'm gonna love on everybody. Um, how many times have you heard, oh, they said no to you? That doesn't mean no, that means not right now. I know they said no, but check in um, in two days. Girl, don't do that. <laughs> relationships, relationships. Would you do that with to your best friend? If she says, no, thank you, I don't want that. I don't want that piece of cake. Would you say, here, Eat some cake, eat some cake, eat some cake. No, no, you wouldn't, okay? So this is why this 100s list is not going to work, okay? So, the other thing, really quickly, is, like I said, it takes relationships out of it, but it treats people like cattle. It treats people like they're a dollar sign, okay? That they're nothing more than a sale to you because you haven't taken the time to establish a relationship with them, okay? Please hear me on this. Um, People don't want to be treated like that. They don't want to go into their news feed and on Facebook and see, join my team, join my team, join my team, and they don't want to see, buy my stuff, buy my stuff, buy my stuff. They want to hear about you. They want to know what's going on in your life. And if your business is working for you, it'll reflect in your wall by the things that you're doing and the opportunities that you're having, for real, okay? So, when you reach out to people on your 100 list, and you haven't established a relationship and they don't even know what you're slinging, it's gonna kill your business. It's gonna ruin that relationship because you're not starting off on the right foot. So, you guys know, hold on, let me double check my notes. Oh, in fact, and I wrote this down, in fact, not talking about your business so much is exactly the key to enrolling brand partners and customers. Did you know that? Stop talking about it. <laughs> I mean, how many people, um, well, I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> okay, you guys, I have squirrel syndrome all the time. Let's get back on track. Um, the, the fastest way that you can kill your business, basically, is by reaching out to these people and trying to offer them something that they don't want. Like I said, vegetables to carnivores, right? So, there's a right way, okay? Um, it's not... It's not about, and I want you to keep this in mind, it's not about attracting all of the people. It's not about talking to all of the people. It's about attracting and talking to the right people, and that takes time. You guys have to allow for that to take time. Okay, so you guys know that I'm not gonna go on this spiel without offering some tips, right? Okay, so tip number one is to focus on relationships. So, if you're using Facebook or social media for your business, I want you to take the business part out of it and focus on getting to know people. Be genuine, for real. It's not gonna, oh, there's the rock star. He's pulling in. Um, he's gonna be like, what are you doing in your car? Um, it's not gonna hurt you at all. Hey, babe. Um, it's not gonna hurt you at all to have relationships with people. And honestly, once they join your team, don't you want to kind of know them? Don't you wanna like be besties and um, know people well? And, and just be able to relate to them and get along and have a great time. I mean, that's what this is about, right? So focus on the relationships. And when you're talking to people, find out about them. Be genuine. Would you go up to a stranger on the street and say, excuse me, these are five reasons why you need to try my product right now. Why aren't you trying them? Why aren't you saying yes right now? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No. <laughs> no, you wouldn't do that. You would say, he's giving me the eye, like, what are you doing? Um, you would say, hey, what's your name? Hey, where do you live? Hey, what do you like to do for fun? Hey, I'd like to get to know you, right? That's what you do with people in real life. And that's what you should do on social media. Okay, number two is talk to more people. So 
Um, one of the things that has always stuck with me through all of my experience um, is has been that if your mouth is shut, then your business is as well. And so if you're not using social media to, to talk to people, you're missing out on a lot of opportunities. So I wanna encourage you to use social media, the social side of social media, use it to talk to people, use it to reach people that are far, far away. Some of the best relationships that I've had are people that are way across on the other side of the world, okay? Um, and some of them that are right in my backyard that I wouldn't have known without social media. So social media, it's to be social. Be social, use that, take it to the um, advantage that it's giving you, okay, the opportunity. Okay, so who are the people that you can reach out to and who are the people that you're looking for when I say attract and find the right people? So find people who already um, are either interested or already are buying a very similar product. Um, so like, for example, um, if you are um, wanting to help people with fitness or health, you might um, talk to people who are already interested in taking vitamin supplements or already doing something for their health or maybe seeing a doctor about something, okay? Those are the kind of people that you want to be in front of. Your grandma Molly is not going to be interested even though she's on your 100s list. And that's how this all ties together, you guys. Your Aunt Fran, if she's not looking to get healthy, then you talking to her about your peak drink is not going to help her. It's not, and, and just like me, talking to Fred on my 100 list or, or in my um, Facebook, he's, he's, he made, he's not gonna want makeup. <laughs> you guys, you know what I'm saying? Okay, the other thing is um, find people who are already searching for what you're offering. So let's say, uh, for me, for example, you know, we just launched a new product that um, really helps the under eye area. Um, if you notice, I don't have dark circles. They're going away, look at that. Um, so we just launched a new product. So I might wanna get in front of people that are already Googling eye serums and, and um, dark circles and puffiness or puffy eyes or something like that. So I would wanna get in front of those people, okay? Um, and then the last thing, and this is probably the best way to approach people on Facebook and, and use social media for your business, is your product needs to solve something for them, okay? It's what's in it for them, not what's in it for you. And that's why the 100s list doesn't work. It's because the 100s list is all about how you can grow your business, not how you can help people. And your products need to be able to to give the results that you're saying that they do. And there's people that need your products, but you need to find them and you need to be able to take your products and use them to solve the problems for them, okay? Um, so maybe, for example, like, um, I know that right now a lot of my friends have kids that are going into middle school and high school and one of the things that middle schoolers and high schoolers don't want is acne and so I might reach out to some of the moms and, and say hey um, I know your kiddos starting back to school if they need any um, help with their skincare please let me know because I have some really great products and it's organic so even though they're young it, it'll be good for them see how that worked <laughs> but I'm only I'm gonna approach the people that I have relationships with and that's why it works okay so the hundreds list is not gonna help me with that um, okay the other thing is fine in what did I I can't even read my own writing good Lord Jesse course um, okay oh I know find existing desire for you and your product and channel that okay so go from that standpoint and you guys I'm gonna leave you with this okay don't be blowing up people's Facebook stuff with your products and hoping that they're just gonna reach out to you and say, that looks good, I want some. Because it doesn't always work like that. That's just the truth, okay? Um, the best way to do it is to find people that want your stuff, have a relationship with them, treat them well with amazing customer service, and then they'll probably refer you to like 10 people because they're so excited about what you gave them. That's how it works. So the 100s list of, of trying to get people into your business and reaching out to Grandma Molly and Aunt Fran when they're not interested is not gonna benefit you. What you need to do is you need to go meet Sally and Susie who are already on your Facebook that you can be friends with and have a genuine relationship with them. They will see, they will see the results by what you post. How easy is that, guys? I'm telling you. So, um, I hope that helped you. If it did, please reach out to me. Let me know how it helped you. There's a weird glare. Um, 
I really, really hope that this helps you, and I really hope it helps you to open your eyes to see um, better ways that you can run your business, and I hope it brings you a lot more success than what you're having. I don't want you to be frustrated. I want you to have all the success in the world, no matter what no matter what business you're with, okay? Um, that's just the God's honest truth, is I want success for everybody. Thank you, Apple, for that notification. I want success for everybody, and I want for everybody to not be frustrated in what they're doing. I want them to have fun with it, and I want them to grow, <laughs> and I want them to just have a good time, and I want them to be proud of what they're doing, and I want them to not lose their passion. So I think that's really, really important in this business, and so if you guys can do that, if you can channel that the right way, and you can find the people that... Um, you can have relationships with it'll work a lot better than doing the 100s friends list all right okay i'm gonna leave it there uh feel free to share with your teams feel free to share with anybody who's in the industry that might need some help and if you're frustrated with what you're seeing on your wall feel free to share this with them too okay love you guys bye